what do you hate about the hobby? We want to have just a little open discussion about like things that you know have been bugging you about our our hobby. I mean, our hobby has been exploding this last two or three years here. Um, and there's you know there's some people that like to complain, and there's some people that have some legitimate complaints. And I think this is a great moment to talk about it, um, to analyze and see how we can possibly improve some of these ideas. So go ahead and hit us up in the chat with uh, some <clears> of the <throat> things that you. Uh, do or do not like and uh, we'll definitely have a discussion what's up Edwin what's up random what's up Rick um, what is that 10 bucks 10 bucks oh no I mean what's the what's the little emoji thing the it's little... number one fan super chat yep when you do a super chat and you send money like you can put emojis and like and it'll, it'll, it'll highlight your comma <laughs> comment oh, all right well, we've already got retail flippers as one of the number one things to talk about and uh, I'll, I'll give this one to, you, to Dan. Oh, we'll, I, we'll, I, I know you, I you have the outfit down with the uh, you know the socks and the sandals and the shorts is what the official outfit is for the retail flippers that sit at Target. Um, how, how do we prevent that? And 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 uh, what do you think about retail? Dude, flippers? I wear I wear like a hoodie every day. I look like I'm about ready to get into a mosh pit. Not a, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to get in line at Target or Walmart. Um, and I don't wear sandals, but whatever. Uh, what do I think? Whew. There's a lot of them. Um, I actually didn't think we were going to play this game. I thought this was for the people, but it is for the people. It's uh, let's see what we got here. What what really really bugs me? No, I you just know, wanted to hear your thoughts about retail flippers. Do you think oh, re- oh, oh, the oh, retail flippers. Yeah, because that was the first topic of, of 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 hate in the hobby. Like, what do you hate about retail flippers, and how do we stop them? Mm. And how do you guys in the I, chat? How do we stop retail flippers? Are we are we talking about the physical? People who go into or the Walmart. people that bots. Yes. Well, there's, or, there's, are, we, are we talking about the the bot cook groups? I think you can put them all in the same category. Okay, the cook groups. You can't stop that. The the cook groups. You, I, you know can't. what? I actually don't. I don't. I don't mind. You do you. You want to you you pay money to get a bot and it works for you. More power to you. Whatever. You does not, um, there's no way to stop that at all. The only thing I would like to see is don't go on social media. And and boast about how talk how about great your you thousand are. boxes. Yeah, don't retail. don't don't be like flexing and being like, yeah, look what I did, look what I did. I I saw I saw some over the week, and there was one that like really pissed me off. And I don't I I'm gonna try to say it in a way that we're not gonna get blocked. Um, <laughs> but it had a picture of a bunch of retail stuff, some hoops and some Pokemon, and it said. F the kids. Yeah, I saw that. Ooh. Yeah, and it was a trunk full. It was like a it, Nissan. Yeah, it was, it was, like, it was like a, yeah, it was like a Nissan Maxima or something like that. And it and it mm. said that. And that I I get I get I get what, what they're saying. I, I under I understand what they're trying to portray or whatnot, but not cool. Mm. I don't like it. Like yeah. don't don't do that. Don't do that, your, that's actually do, not cool. Do your thing. Make your bag or whatever, whatever the kids are saying, yeah. <laughs> and leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't basically throw don't don't make fun of other people or like, dude. It's like kids in a playground. Like like it's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like taking the ball away and be like, you can't catch me. Like you can't <laughs> like. Come on. It's almost like if you like broke into cars and you're like, look at all these car, car stereos I stole last <laughs> night. You put it on social media. You're like, it's, I got all these car stereos. Like I know they paid. I, for I, I remember when the PS5 came out, bro. There was this guy that got so much hate because he posted like his picture with like 50 PS5s or whatever, and then he was like, "F you, pay me," uh, is what his comment was. What humble, it, 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 humble brag. What humble if, brag. What if, so I guess what you'd call that. I, I know. I, I actually have a uh, uh, a perfect way to stop this, but this will never happen. This will absolutely never happen if Target actually just cut the cellophane off when you purchased it. Ooh, yeah, that won't happen. That would they would oh, stop you, it though. Oh, you mean you mean you have <laughs> open it. For you me. you have the no. Just take the cell phone no, off. No, no, you have. Well, it's it's funny you brought that up because that is something that Upper Deck did years yes, ago. Yes, they, the na- they, they I they, I learned well from and Upper they Deck. and they did it at the national. So like in order to get whatever uh, promo whatever, whatever promo they were doing, yep. you would buy your box from DA or another Upper Deck online retailer or a retailer that was at the show. You bring it up, and before and Tops did it as well, if I'm not mistaken. They would go up, you'd show them the box, and they would take a box cutter and just cut the cellophane off. Yeah, and and then they would give you your promo packs. So you had a choice: you can either hold on to your box and not get the promos, or you can get the promos, but you had to open up the box. 
So you think that every every checkout checker at at Walmart and Target should have a box cutter, Mojo Break box cutter. I can probably get them some, and they can just swipe the cellophane off every time they they go to scan it, swipe it. But I'm asking bag. for a lot, what, but that what, would stop what, it. What if a customer wanted to return, a legitimately return something though? Target would accept the the open box. Mm. See, I think they do anyway though. I think no, they do. no, they're kind of straight. Man, I, I am confident. I, I've taken back like um. No, you're right. You're like right. Like a stereo thing. If I've you, never but, tried it with but, cards. But they, but they take your IDs, so like if you do too many returns. Yeah. So true. so you get so you can basically probably well, you can probably come back with. Yeah, a, I think you can only do it twice a year. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, they for open products. For open products. Mm. Um, for my my whole thing is like <laughs> Ryan's got the best idea, bro. Target needs to place a claw machine game in their stores full of blasters for those guys <laughs> to just stand there for a while. Oh man, that's <laughs> that that's awesome. Best. That's awesome. That's 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 a good way to sell it. Uh, but for me, like obviously, you know, it it sucks for people that want to buy retail, want to be able to walk into Walmart and Target. I'm with you guys, bro. Like you know, like the fact like you can't find anything. If but it, but at it, the same but, time, but if that stuff wasn't going up five times, nobody would want it. No, at no. the same time, bro, where were you guys buying that retail when nobody wanted it and it exactly. sat on the shelves forever? No FOMO then. No FOMO. Nobody was. That's the only thing I gotta say. Yeah. Like yep. that the retail, like tops, baseball, panini football, panini basketball, like you could find that stuff like. All day before, but I get it. Sometimes, you know, sometimes different. you would just walk. You'd have your you'd have your cart and just walk around, and like <laughs> it would just magically jump into your cart. <laughs> Dude, like you're what? just like, you're all. How did this get in here? I didn't <laughs> put it in there. It's funny because the targets around here in the Bay Area, they like never have any sports cards. So it's I've I've been trained. I look, I walk down there. I look. I don't see anything. The other day, I, I found I saw some. Uh, 20, 20 complete sets, and I was like, I just pulled up my phone. I was like, <laughs> see how much they were worth. Just because I was like, they're sports cards. I, I got I to gotta look. I got to see if this is actually worth more than it is. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't. But it, it was It was the only thing sports card related there. In mine, it's only uh, Magic the Gathering. There's Magic the Gathering all up in it. Um, even I mean, obviously, the Pokemon's gone now, too. But um, it, it's everybody, and my point of that is that everybody's trained now of seeing it empty, that when they see it f- somewhat full, it's like grab whatever you can get. Mm-hmm. Um, but what C-Rad's point was, is for years it was full. It was just full, and it was like, well, nobody wants it. So I, I don't, don't know how many times nobody wants it. I don't want it either. I don't know how many times I would go, and I would, and I would walk by, and I'd be like, what do they got? And I'm all, oh man, look at all that, uh, look at all that Gypsy Queen and Alan and Ginter. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I mean, Alan and Ginter, as far as the eye can see. <laughs> just yeah, nobody wanted that. <laughs> Nobody wanted that. Now it's funny. I'll see like people going like, "Is this worth anything?" And it's like Alan and Ginter blasters, like people on like Facebook yeah. groups and stuff. Uh, I mean, oh, no, and maybe another unpopular opinion it would be, "What if they raise their prices yes. to the price that somebody would be flipping so, it?" So, so you, so you would prefer, Tops is doing that. So, but you Tops would prefer, do uh, you'd prefer like Walmart and Target to to make make the money over the consumer. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a, an unpopular that, opinion. I mean, that is a tough. That's a that's an odd. That's an odd fight. <laughs> I th- a- <laughs> Dude, don't you guys think with the tops raising hobby prices, they're gonna raise retail prices? Well, Panini's okay. We got our prism, like, pr- um, prism, prism, du- and cost. prism and National Treasures doubled cost. Double, doubled. So, oh, doubled. Interesting. Doubled. Not didn't double anything else. Didn't from double the, from the wholesale. Di- yeah, price. didn't double the cards. Didn't double the packs. Didn't double anything except yeah, for the you price. Don't get four what, NT football too. Oh, double. Yeah, mm. yeah. So they're catching up. They're catching up with that. Um, but uh, what else do we have here for? What do we hate? Makes sense. Um, cook groups are the but, worst. But I mean, would that does would that make every, would that make? Would, I know it would probably solve the problem. But would that make everybody feel better? What? Like if you if you can buy it, but you would basically be paying close to what market value is. Yeah, you'd physically get the product, but you would not be able to flip it. Would that now now that would either be I can answer that that would be either Walmart or Target making the extra money, or the Tops or Panini or Upper Deck making the extra money. Would that make you feel better? I I, I can answer that. Um, from the, from the example of the uh from shoe collectors. People are more happy that they can actually get their shoes now because what Nike did and Jordan did. Yeah, you Jordan don't want did, people walking around barefoot. They they saw this, you know, a decade ago. So they're already on the game. They they raised their prices slowly the last decade yeah, like to where it's to the point where it's yeah. like a regular shoe. You're like, you won't be able to, you'll be able to flip it for like 20, 30 bucks, but not the same $100 you were mm-hmm. a decade ago. 
So people are, people are more happy. Like they're like, okay, I, I can get these shoes that I actually did want. Um, so, and I paid more for them so than I did a decade so ago. So generally, the consumer is okay with the manufacturer. Yes, making the extra money. They don't like well, the middle. Then, they don't like the middleman making the money. Tops, Panini, and Upper Deck. Let's jack up the prices. Yeah, but see the difference between. Sh- it I hear you there, but the difference between shoes is not like one one shoe is going to have a Jordan Auto in there. You know what I mean? And so they're all the same, right? I think for retail, I can you can draw the same. Yeah, for retail, but not hobby. So, but but you would have to. Prism Blasters would have to. I mean, there's enough market research at this point where the manufacturers know what these blasters are going to sell for, roughly. So when Prism comes out, instead of doing a $20 blaster, they can do a $120 blaster. Right. They could. We they could. I mean. They could. They could. And I can guarantee you if that $120 blaster is only going to – if you get it, you can only flip it for 140 there's going to be a lot on the shelf. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And I don't think I don't think they have to go dra- that drastic because what Jordan did is they did, did it a little bit over time. Um, they didn't go full on, f- you know, three X, four X out the gate. They just went like, um, not even, not even two X. They just kind of went like maybe yeah, a third more every couple years. When we were every, kids, it was like 120, years. right? Yeah, it was 120. Now they're like Jordans. 220, right? So yeah. they did it over time. There was sense. there was a um, and and I'm gonna this is gonna kind of kind of go into what I hate, kind of on topic. There was the optic 2020 optic football complete set that came out today. Uh, Dutch auction started at $2,000. There's 199 of them. Um, each card was numbered to 199 and then there was a guaranteed one to one um, I saw on Twitter that a cook group, bot group, whatever, they got 170 of them mm. at the release of – Yeah, at Full Pop. At Full Pop. And I was on there. I was on there trying to get on. I couldn't get on. How much was it? Uh, 2000 They They bought – they were able to get 170 of them right out of the Instantly. gate. Instantly, okay. um, I didn't get any. Nobody, I mean, nobody else really got nobody any. Else I mean, that's, that's only eat. that's only thirty left for other people. Yeah, right? well, yeah, yeah thir- 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 something. Um, so that is what's pissing me off about the hobby, yeah. and 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 that's what Panini has. And Panini obviously, um, they undervalued that set. They did. They with they, the one to one. Yeah, they. I. I actually thought they should have priced that set around four thousand dollars. Four ninety nine, ninety five. If it was, if it was four to five grand. Is it a one on one auto? It's a no. It's just a one on one parallel, oh, okay. I think. Um, but if they would have priced it at four to five thousand dollars, it wouldn't have sold out instantly because, like you were saying, there wouldn't be enough. Another another terrible phrase: meat on the bone to justify doing it. <laughs> Well, and then we've also had some people mentioning hobby box prices being too high, and I I fully agree on that. We're thousand percent agree. We're we're dealing with that. It's like, hey, you guys want to reorder Eminence at thirty five thousand? It's like, no. Uh, it was like, you know, whatever it was when it first came out. Now it's you know triple that. It's like, no, I I don't have any value for the customer. Or optic now is wholesale is like over a thousand. It's like, you know, at what point you know. Somebody's holding the bag, you know. Um, Ho- but hoops, hoops is uh, distributors. It's like four fifty, right? I mean, o- honestly, like when we have to go and rebuy from distributors, we are actually in some instances paying more than the consumer, unless they could just go to DA and go to blowout. It's it's almost the same price. Yep. Yeah, it's it's tough, um, and because you have so many people that are trying to get the product, or you, like people are trying to break that they're already having those built in like margins that they're already trying to like only make like 20 bucks breaking it and keeping a spot or whatever. There's just too much, too much demand and not enough supply. And that's what's going on. But do we don't want more supply either though? So it's a fine line. You don't want to make more supply because then you don't have good hits and you don't have, um, you know, a silver burrow and every other, you know, whatever. So it's definitely a fine line. So, um, impossible to buy a box anymore, you know? So, but, the flip side of that is if boxes are affordable, that means people don't want the cards either. So it, it's a fine balance. Right now, yeah, the boxes are too high for the probably the demand. But if the box price, if Hoops was $100, then nobody would want the cards. Interesting note of Hoops, too, by the way. The Lamello is 20 bucks now? Yes, but you know that you can actually <laughs> buy a team set for $10? The team sets are coming out. So if you have a Lamello, I'd sell it right now because they're releasing team sets for every single team. And, and I think the they're like going to be set? like twelve ninety nine, fifteen ninety. I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe secondary market will go up on those two. I, I I saw Lamelo Raz selling for twenty bucks. Those team sets will sell out. That was for that the was a that was Kings a and the Warriors. That was a two hundred dollar base card. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, we we knew it. We knew what was going to happen. Yeah. You you open up a box of hoops and you're getting one from the, you're getting one <coughs> Lamelo <coughs> roughly, <coughs> and that's not even blasters and and all the retail skews and all that stuff. Like that's just the hobby that we've opened. So they didn't. This was never a product that is intended to be short printed right. by any means. Donruss basketball. I know that's another. We had that discussion this morning. Like, what do we sell Donruss at? You can't get it on blowout. Sold out. Twelve hundred dollars on Steel City. I think they might be sold out. You can't find a box of Donruss for under twelve hundred dollars. Um, it releases next week. Crazy. So, and, and we're not getting a lot of it. But what do we do with it? One what, box. Cu- one box break. Cu- customers, what what do we do with it? If you're in our position, what? How do you sell? How do you sell Donruss? People are like, sell it to us for a hundred. Yeah, sell it to me at what you paid for it. Sounds <laughs> like a good idea. I mean, we unfortunately, I mean, we we are a business. Like we got to keep the lights on, <clears throat> got to keep food on the table, got to keep all the employees paid. Um, but what do we do with it? We're not getting. It's not like we're not getting twenty cases. We've gotten twenty cases in the past. Right. We're not getting twenty cases. We're getting. We're not getting ten cases. We're getting below 10 cases. This, is, again, is not a product that they only make 1,000 cases of. We're not talking flawless. We're not talking national treasures, eminence. We're not, we're not talking those products. We're talking Donruss. Play, player breaks. <laughs> Donruss. Single, single box player breaks. <laughs> then, I mean, I actually, you know, I got an idea. I got an idea. You're right. We'll do that. Sounds like a great idea. But if you're in the break, you have to come down here and sort your own cards. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> pack <laughs> breaks. Yeah, instead of six box breaks, it's going to be six pack breaks. <laughs> one, hey, one pack. My, it might happen that way.